Here's today Pato Gold Story. Trump gets send off from cheering supporters before flying from Florida to NY to face criminal charges Fort Lauderdale, FLA. Former President Donald Trump got a send off from cheering supporters Monday as he rode from his Mar-a-Lago resort and home in Palm Beach for the flight from Palm Beach International Airport that took him to New York to face criminal charges. Trump left Mar-a-Lago at about 12.20 p.m. Eastern Time Monday. About 15 minutes later, he walked up the back stairs to his plane at the airport. At 1 p.m. he took off. He touched down about two and a half hours later at LaGuardia Airport in Queens, the New York City borough where he spent his childhood, then deplaned and got into an SUV at 3.45 p.m. The criminal case concerns hush money payments made during his 2016 campaign to conceal a sexual relationship, which he denies with porn star Stormy Daniels. The South Florida motorcade and flight were widely watched, but it wasn't like his presidential days flying in and out of the airport on Air Force One. Trump's red, white and blue Boeing 757, emblazoned with his name in gold, had to wait its turn to take off behind other aircraft. On the way to the airport, his motorcade passed by a group of cheering and flag-waving supporters gathered along Southern Boulevard in West Palm Beach. Fans began assembling early Monday. Willie Guardiola of Palm Beach Gardens was among 100 or so Trump supporters gathered in front of a shopping plaza between Parker Avenue and Lake Avenue that over the years has been a frequent gathering point for Trump supporters. Guardiola said supporters came to protest the most unfair indictment I've seen in 65 years, something he said showed, they're going to come after Trump no matter what. Why do you think they're afraid of him? Because he's going to drain the swamp. I think it's important to stand for our country right now. I think the injustice and the attacks on President Trump are an attack on our country. President Trump is extremely connected to the heart and voice of the people of our country, said Ashton Manhole and President of the Palm Beach Young Republicans. Manhole and said the prosecution is turning us into a banana republic. It's important we rise up. Ronald Solomon of the MAGA Mall was out doing some business among Trump supporters selling Trump hats, flags, socks, and other memorabilia to the crowd. Solomon said his business suffered after Trump left office, but it's picked up in recent weeks amid news about the pending indictment. The past few days has made it explode, he said. I am getting orders for products from all across the United States from wholesale customers. Solomon said the prosecution has gone too far, adding that people believe this is a witch hunt. Many held flags proclaiming, Trump 2024 Save America, Trump won and let's go Brandon. The Brandon phrase represents an obscenity Republicans direct toward President Joe Biden. An influential organization of Trump supporters, Club 47 issued a call to supporters on Sunday even before Trump confirmed just when he'd be leaving to be on hand on Southern Boulevard for Trump's departure. The news media did what the Trump supporters expected. Thanks for watching. Press the like and subscribe buttons for more videos.